Okay, so if you have business edition, I'm going to show you guys how to do conical warp. So you need to have, make sure you have business edition in order to do this, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I just got business edition and it just now added to my profile. So what you're going to want is a computer, Silhouette Studio. It's going to work with any of the Silhouette machines. So you can use it for the portrait, the cameo, the curio. It's going to work, I promise. And then the supplies you're going to want is you're going to want a tumbler, okay? And then I have my fabric tape measure here. So let's go ahead and open up our studio. Make that a little larger. And then I already have the image I want to trace. There we go. That's the image that I'm going to want to use. So we'll go ahead and trace that real quick. And trace. And delete that. When you trace it, it's just going to be empty circles. So you go over here to the third button on the right hand side and do open the fill panel. And that's going to let you fill it in so that way you can easily see it better on the screen. And then what I'm about to do next is I'm going to simplify those edit points because I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's zoom in. All these little dots are all edit points. So that's not going to be a smooth cut. So triple click for edit points and simplify. So that way it's not all these little dots. It's select little dots here. And I'm just using this just to show you guys how to do it. Okay, I'm going to shorten that to this, about the size that I want it to be. So you don't want to use something huge and you don't want to use something tiny either because I'm using this as a tutorial to show you guys. Alright, so here's our decal that we're going to want to do. And so you go here to the bottom third panel on the right side. It's going to say open the warp panel. So you're going to open that. Warp selected shapes, but we're going to go to conical warp, which would be right here in the far right. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Zoom it in and turn it a little bit. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so you got the tumbler here that it's already set up for, but that's not the right setup that we want to do. Okay. So we're going to do conical warp selected shapes. Okay, so here it adds on a cup design, yeah, cup design space with the conical warp already set, but that's not the size that we want to use, okay? So over here in the bottom right, you're going to see all these measurements. So the top, top width of your tumbler, it's going to be right here, okay? So I'm going to measure that out real quick. That's four inches. And then watch here on the screen as it adjusts. So four inches on the top and then the bottom of your tumbler. Okay. That's two and a half. Okay. It adjusted again. And now lengthwise is your next one. So up and down. And that's going to be seven and a half, give or take. All right, so there we go. You can't see it, but this is the actual design slightly warped around, okay? And if you want it up a little more, you take this very bottom piece or you want it down a little more, it adjusts size-wise and lengthwise on where exactly you want it on there. And then if you want it bigger, you want it smaller, here is about a good size right there. So scroll down, 
push apply. What that's going to do, that's going to lock it in there. So this is the exact warp of the um, paw print. Even though you can't see it because it's very tiny and slight, but you can see it right here in these little areas on the outer prints that it warped a little bit. So don't resize it because it's already sized up to the warp that you have it set to. Okay, guys? So we're going to drag it up here. And then what I'm going to use, I don't know if it'll work or not. So I'm going to turn on the weeding and see how that goes. So I turned on the weed settings. You can make your own weed box or you can have Silhouette make the weed box for you. I myself, I like making it myself. So that way I always remember I made my wee box. All right. So there's that. So you guys should already know how to send and cut and do transfer tape. So I'm going to come back to you guys after I'm all done with that. All right, guys, I'm back. So got that cut. This is my design after it's already warped. And the warp thing already sized it for me to the dimensions that I like to set it on my conical warp. And then I did the transfer tape and the weeding already. Because you guys should already know how to do that if you're jumping into this step. And I know it looks big. I didn't size it right. But that's how you conical warp. So that way it looks straight when you put it on the tumbler. Okay, so if you have a design... And it doesn't look 100% straight because it's that perfect square. Try that conical warp, all right? Play around with it. Get the hang of it. And now it's a perfectly straight decal on the tumblers. It's somewhat possible to do it on wine glasses. I, mm, It's not perfect when I did it on a wine glass, but I made it work. I'll use it again. But I mostly use it for etching. So there you go. Conical warp on a tumbler. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will make another video. I will make anything that you guys need so I can help you guys out. So feel free and comment and like down below. And I'll see you soon.